Consider the question, who is the best football player in the world? It seems many people have an opinion about that, but it's somehow unsatisfactory to rely on opinion and arbitrary arguments to settle the question. Wouldn't it be nice to have an objective way of measuring the quality of football players? Hi there, and welcome to Football Player Ratings. My name is Lars Magnus, and this video is the kickoff to a journey through numbers and formula, lots of numbers, lots of formula, with the goal of finding the best way to objectively rank football players. Part of being a football fan is to have endless debates about our favorite players, possibly about our least favorite players, and to discuss which players are better than others. While those discussions are part of the fun of football, sometimes it's nice to have some definite numbers to support our arguments. Sure, the number of goals scored in one season or another season, the number of awards won, the number of tournaments won, and so on, provide numbers. But they all have some issues. For example, the award previously known as the Ballon d'Or is, in the end, based on subjective opinions. And it's not clear that the result of the vote is any better than anyone's own opinion. Scoring goals is of course what football is all about. And nevertheless, a player like Manuel Neuer will never become a top scorer, despite being a potential match winner in the other end of the pitch. How about winning a tournament? Well, that often depends mostly on what team you are on, and it may not be sufficient just to be an outstanding player. If we want to use numbers uh, to compare football players, we should try to have numbers that are not too dependent on the role that the player has on the pitch or which team someone is playing for. Perhaps most importantly, we first have to determine what it means to be the best football player. Is it about technical finesse? About clinical finishing? About heroic tackles? Or just being an overall good team player? This channel is dedicated to bring you videos about football player ratings. So how to derive numbers that can tell us something about the relative quality of different football players. We want to examine this from all possible angles. And in the process, we'll see a number of different rating systems. Some very simple and some rather more complex. One series of videos on this channel will be devoted to the development and the evaluation of different football player rating systems. This topic may become quite complicated at times, uh, but it should be possible for everyone to follow the main principles, although some background in the mathematics is advantageous to understand all the nuances of the methods. In another series of videos, uh, we will use our best rating systems to analyze the different leagues, the different teams, and the different players. Is it possible that our objective football player ratings uh, can reveal something about our favorite teams or our favorite players that we didn't know from before? The motivation for presenting this material is threefold. First, to entertain and contribute to the discussion about how good our favorite players really are. Two, to bring some perspective of what it might actually mean to be the best football player. And three, to check whether football player ratings have additional uses. Uh, for example, uh, could clubs improve their performances by better player selections for matches? Or could they improve their uh, recruitment process uh, by better identifying undervalued uh, talent? That is, if we are able to determine the best player in the world, why can't we determine the best under-20 left-footed inverted wide player uh, playing in the English leg system? So, what do you think about this project? Do you think that football is one of those fields where expert intuition will be unable to compete with number crunching computers? Or do you think that it's silly to believe that mathematical models can say anything at all about our favorite football players? In any case, feel free to start the discussion in the comment section below or keep watching my additional videos on this channel. See ya!